Poi, Poi, where have you gone? There you are. <laughs> are you on a space mission? Where's your rocket gone? You're an astronaut, aren't you, Poi? Is it time to blast off? <laughs> I'm Jay, and I'm going to show you ways to make pictures. Look, I've been collecting some colours in my Bits and Bobs box. They're all from magazines. There's some green pieces. Here's some red pieces. Lots of blue bits. Some are all different colours. Look! Some nice yellow ones here. And, oh, this is a very interesting colour. We'll have one more bit. I think we can make a picture out of this. But first, I've got a very good idea. Why not use my newspaper as the background? So I can tear some shapes out of it and see what happens. Oh, I wonder what that looks like. It looks like the wings on a butterfly. That'll be a good picture. We can decorate some of the wings with colours. There's some yellow bits. Let's try a little bit of red. Let's uh, cut some long bits in this. That'll be lovely. There's one there. One there. And, oh, let's use some of this green. Isn't that good? We can try making something out of this. We can get little circle pieces. We can put them on the yellow. That looks very good. And uh, we can um, do extra little pieces like that. There's one more green thing, I think. That's a really nice colour. Yes. Oh, and look. Here's a nice, really long bit of blue. We could put that in the middle as the body. And uh, let's use a light bit of blue here. Let's try and do something with this. We can cut out little circle pieces again. Tearing paper is so easy and it's fun. In fact, what if I put those at the top of the butterfly? That's very good. A bit more red. Let's make some triangle pieces. And uh, one more little bit of green, I think. Let's have a big piece of green. And one there. And one there. Hmm. One last minute for some red pieces. This is so much fun. Look at that beautiful butterfly. What do you think? Why don't you have a go at saving some colours and making pictures out of them? Hello! Today we've been busy collecting colours to make pictures. Have a look at them in the gallery. Here's how we made them. Okay, the first thing we're going to do today is collect some colours. 
All right, I've got lots and lots and lots of different things here that are all different sorts of colours. Now over there, I've drawn a picture of a tree. Who can tell me what colours they'll need to make a picture of a tree? Green. Green. Any other colours we'll need for a tree? Green. What colour is this? Brown. Brown. So we can brown. Do That's right, so the trunk can be brown. Over on that table, I've got a flower. Now we can use lots and lots of different colours to make a flower, can't we? So do you all know what colours you're going to get? Well, we better get collecting. Off you go. Why are they going on that pile, Reese? Because it's the green pile. That's right. Oh, we're going to take all the rainbow colours. Rainbow's brilliant for flowers, that's an excellent idea. Yeah, right. Flowers. Yeah. be the sand. Yeah. Why don't we use these for some work? Yeah. Yeah. Right, now we've collected all our lovely piles of colour. We've got brown and green on this table for the tree. We're going to start sticking. All right, let me show you. This is a very special picture. It's called a collage means it's a picture with little bits stuck on. Are you all ready to do some sticking now then? Yeah. Yeah. All right, go and get glue in. We need an apple and it's going to hang down from the branch. It looks like a Christmas tree. You want to glue that one on? No, I'm busy now. Oh, you're busy. Oh, shall I leave you to it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Can you remember what the picture's called when it's got lots and lots of bits stuck on? Collage. A collage, that's right. You've made a beautiful collage. Matthew and Rianne made a flower collage. They added a beach, some clouds, and a rainbow to their picture. And Rihanna and Reese made this tree using lots of brown and green coloured things. What time is it now? Time the time. It is. You lot better get busy. Off you go. Why don't you try your own collage pictures? Until next time, bye-bye. Jumble. I'm all mixed up today. Hello, I'm Kirsten and this is Pattern Palace. Here are my patterns. I like patterns. I like looking at them and I like making them. Look how different all of these patterns are. I like these zigzags here on this material and I like the purple colour. And what about this pattern here? Lots of straight lines going down and across the material to make little squares called checks and on this pattern there are just lots and lots of flowers all different colours and different sizes as well but on this flowered pattern the flowers are very organised in boxes along the material all of these patterns are very different but they do look very nice together which has given me an idea for a pattern I'm going to do today. I've got lots of different bits of material and wrapping paper here. Some square and some are rectangle and I've even got a few triangles as well. So let's see what pattern I can make. I'm going to start with that big square there. Perhaps those zigzags I could put there. And the checks. I like these stars. I think I'll leave that bit blank. I'll do something in that space later. And I could overlap my bits of material as well. I'm going to use one of those triangles there. What about putting a little square 
inside a bigger square like that. Hmm. That's starting to look really good now. Almost there. Now I think what I'm going to do is fill in these spaces that are left here. And I've got some coloured pens, so I think the red first. And if I just do that, make my own pattern in there. And finally the green here. Complete my pattern. A new pattern made from lots of old patterns. Air balloon. Let's make our own balloon, but first, let's make the basket for people to sit in. Right, a bit of scrap paper, brown paper, tear it like that. Look, makes a basket. And let's make a very hot flame. <sighs> Too hot. Bit of red paper, like that. Bit of yellow paper. Look, one, two, oh, hot flame. Wow, Woo! big picture, right. picture. Right, now we need to make the balloon. A bit of paper for this, green paper. Here, fold it in half and tear. Like this, round and round and round and round. Watch. Ta-da! Balloon! And a bit of orange paper in the middle makes Another colour. One, two colours. Woo! Big picture! Right! Oh. Right, now to make some fluffy clouds. Bit of newspaper, you don't have to paint it. Just leave it as it is, look. And I'll show you how to make it. Very simple, just tear it like this. In fact, it's so easy, you can do it with your eyes closed, look. Look at that. There, one hot air balloon, finished. No, I haven't. Right, where are we going? Come here. Finished! Small picture. Big picture. <laughs> 